Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Dare to Game. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and we're going to be looking at the five worst short swords in the game. So, have you ever wondered what short swords in the game are just terrible and you should avoid and never use because they do almost no damage and they're worthless and brittle and, you know, only a true loser would use them? Probably not, right? Who would think about something that weird? But, I'm going to do it anyway. So, let's just start this off and show you number five. So at number 5, we have the Burger's Sword, with a damage of 43, and a price point of 315.3. So, starting us off, this isn't too terrible of a sword. That being said, it's number 5 for the worst in the game, so if this is your idea of a great sword, you know, you're wrong. But, uh, it, this one is still manageable. This is the only one on the list that I don't absolutely despise. But let's, uh, let's see what it's got. So it says, the Burger Short Sword is less a weapon than a status symbol. It will do for defense at a pinch, but it's not recommended for the battlefield. Uh, yeah, I would say that's accurate. It's got a durability of 55, so not too terribly low, but still pretty low. And a charisma of only 9, so, you know, not a very prestigious weapon to be carrying around. You can see the damage stats here. Defense is 68. Uh, but let's take a, a closer look at it on the wheel. So here on the wheel you can see that it is a neat enough sword. There's, uh... You know, not much to say about it. It's got a pretty blunt looking tip, not not a very sharp point there. Uh, sides look fine. You know, it's pretty uniform. Um, pretty plain Jane. Circular pommel down in the end. You know, nothing too fancy to look at. I would say that this is a decent enough defensive weapon. I'd say that the description is accurate. I wouldn't give it too much of an edge on anything, but you know, as a short sword, it's a deadly enough weapon. So let's move on to number four. So at number four, we have the Prodder, which is where we start to get into the really junky swords. This one has a damage of 41 and a price point of 81.9. It says, an old short sword with a damaged blade, but the tip still looks like it could do some damage. That's that's what I would tell someone if I was telling them to defend themselves with a butter knife. You know, uh, it could probably do some damage. Has a charisma of 4 and a durability of 32, so we're already starting to suck there. You can see the damage stats here in defense. You know, not too great. Let's look at it on the wheel. So as you can see, this looks either like the first sword someone ever made when they decided they kind of wanted to try and be a blacksmith, or maybe a sword that got pulled out of a rock pile on the edge of a field after sitting there for a long time. Basically, to me, it looks like it's a really old weapon. You know, it doesn't fit quite in with the style in the game because it's it looks like it was supposed to be made a couple decades ago. And it also looks like it was supposed to be really old and weathered. You can see that it did have uh, some fullering in the middle of the blade, but that seems to all be... Uh, pretty much wore down, you know, from years and years of sharpening, I assume. And uh, it looks like the cross guard isn't all that well mounted anymore because it appears to be, you know, held on partially, at least, with a leather thong. Uh, so, yeah, there's that. So that's the fourth worst short sword in the game. Let's move on to number three. So at number three, we have Grandad's Old Sword. And nothing says a sword that I want to take into battle like Grandad's Old Sword. Uh, it has a damage of 36 and a price point of 73.5. This one says, A short sword so old it has more value as a family heirloom than as a weapon. Unremarkable, but for its great age. Okay, yeah, so. Basically, the one saving grace of this sword is that it's old. That's that's what that description tells me. It has a charisma of 4 and a durability of 30, being remarkably low on both of those. And those are the damage, you know, stats right there. I don't need to go through them all. Uh, not too impressed with this one, but let's look at it on the wheel. Alright, so much like the last one, uh, this one, you know, just looks really old. Uh, the tapering on it is pretty drastic. Look how wide it is at the bottom for how, you know, normal it is on the top. This one having a better point than, uh, the previous two, it does appear to still be a relatively, uh, sharp point. That being said, the blade looks super wore out and very, very thin. Uh, this one, of course, doesn't appear to have the crossguard held on at least partially by leather, so it's got that go going for it. Basically, what I see when I look at this one is a, like, stylistically a very old sword. This this doesn't fit in in the current, uh, you know, century. It looks like one that, you know, would be a granddad's old sword. So we're looking at at least half a century old. So, yeah, that's number three. Let's move on to number two. So at number two, we have the Trusty Companion, and I guess that's in more of a companionship sort of way than that's something that you'd trust, you know, your wife to. This one has a damage of 30 and a higher price point than previous ones at 226.7. This one says, An old short sword that has seen better days. It won't do much damage, but it looks like it has lasted so long because it was well made to begin with. It should be around for a while yet. 
This one has a charisma of 5 and a durability of 56. So despite the damage being lower on this one, it actually does appear to be better you know, made than the last two. Uh, you can see the damage stats here, and let's just check it out on the wheel. So here on the wheel, like I said, the, you know, I'd say that the description was accurate, even though it's you know been beaten to crap and doesn't do much damage anymore. The original construction of this blade, I would argue, is probably superior to the Grandad's Old Sword and the Prodder. Uh, stylistically, it does does not look as old, so I would say this one is less old than the other two, but probably just, um, you know, it, it saw a lot more use, because stylistically it looks like a much more modern weapon than the other two. But with all that in mind, this still isn't the worst one in the game. Let's move on to the worst one. So for the number one overall worst short sword in the game, we have the Rusty Blade, with an incredibly low damage rating of 26, and a really low price rating of 36.8. Uh, this one seems to fit better into my uh, butter knife analogy. This one says, This short sword was once buried in the ground, and someone dug it up. Almost useless. But sometimes one has no other option. So this one would be another one of those ones where it's, it's slightly better than beating against your armored opponent with your bare fists. It has a Charisma of 1, which is understandable, and a Durability of 19. So if you hit, use it more than once or twice, it's probably going to break. But let's take a look at it on the wheel. And so for full display here, now this one, it's, it's funny for me because, you know, they didn't make it look... Well, first of all, they didn't make it look rusty, at least not as rusty as the last three. And it's still got some, you know, pretty well-maintained, you know, a triple fuller, I think is what that's called right there on the blade. Uh, you'd think if it was this crappy and was buried for a while that that would be wore off uh we're seeing that little leather thong wrapped around the cross guard there that's returning for this sword um i don't know if they you know when they were deciding let's make a really really bad weapon i don't know if they really committed to it because this one actually looks better than the last two but this is the overall worst short sword in the game so if you really want to role play as a guy who has a terrible sword, I guess. This is the one to go with. Or any of the other, uh, any of these five is probably doable. Uh, but with all that in mind, that's the end of this video. Hope you liked it. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. If you did, I can assume you liked the content, and hopefully you'll subscribe and turn on the notification bell. If you haven't already, check out these links I have on the screen to see me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. If you like my content and would like to support what I do here, there's a link to my Patreon account in the description, and a donation would be much appreciated. In any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day.